I developed a huge sense of pride in what this country can do and our maritime industry capability. And I formed a view early on, I guess, in my Navy career that we should have an indigenous shipbuilding capability. I never thought I'd actually be part of it. But serving in the Navy, or leaving the Navy ultimately, and, and wanting to do something a bit different, and be involved in workplaces where you could make a difference. I remember when I started here, the common user facility was just a lump of concrete. Nothing really worked. It was the people and the team that brought all that together and made it work, but it was seeing everything come up around it. Standing there as the dock master, having gone through that entire experience over the, what was then the previous five years or six years, uh, to the point where we got ship one in the water, having all of that behind you was just, you can't beat that. It never ceases to amaze me how people can come together to make things happen. When they are committed, when they believe in something, things just happen. And, and that's what's happened here. You know, there have been a, a huge number of people that have just believed in what we can do and what we're doing. And that's why it's worked and that's why we're going to be building ships and submarines here for the next hundred years. My name is Paul Bates and I'm the General Manager Operations for ANI, Australian Naval Infrastructure at the Osborne Naval Shipyard in South Australia.